Hey guys, so today I felt like doing what a parent expects a child to do when they're home alone and the reality of what a child does when they're home alone. Let it commence. Okay, when being home alone, as children, do things. And our parents think things. And they are wrong. Our parents think while they are at work or with family or doing something with friends or somewhere being weird. But as children are home destroying the house, messing everything up, which I actually do sometimes. But they think we're like having a party over here, having the time of our lives, going crazy, playing music, and just utterly just going insane. But they are definitely wrong. The reality of it is we're just sitting here on this couch, watching Netflix or a regular daytime television, reading a book, being lazy. And most of the time, we're too lazy to even get up to get food. So I don't know what they're talking about that we're like this, like, I seriously feel like my parents, like, not my parents, they usually know I'm too lazy to do anything to destroy the house. But my friend's parents, which I'm not going to say the name because she actually watches this and so do her parents, so I'm not saying it. So, um, her parents literally don't trust her to stay home alone. They don't trust her. They think she's going to have a party while they're gone. The girl can't drive. She is underage to drink. Like, what do you think she's going to do? What do you think she's going to do? Like, seriously, here's an example right here. This is just, and then, they, then, since we are very lazy, and we aren't doing anything, we'll go back to that example in a sec. Since we are very lazy, and we aren't doing anything but sitting, then they expect us to do chores. This is what I do. This is, this is what happens to me, ready? <sighs> what? Oh no. Hello? Um, um, cleaning my room? Right, 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 cleaning my room, right, right, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm already like, halfway through. Yeah, of course I wash the dishes as well. Uh, yeah. You know, only two plates left out of 20. Yeah, oh, what? Laundry. Yeah, that's done too. Okay. Love you. Bye. I have two hours to get that stuff done. I'm so screwed. No, I usually don't have two hours. I usually have like a half hour to get that stuff done. And then, they expect us to be, like, since we're, we're just chilling here. We're just chilling, watching our Netflix, not bugging anybody in the world. Then they expect us to do chores. Then they expect us to do this and that and this and that. And I don't know if this happens to you guys, but my mom likes to call me a lot. Like, she would, I'll be on the phone with her. Yeah. Why does it do that? Why does it go to Siri whenever I rise to my ear? And I'll be just on the phone, call, like, she, she, we'll call, we'll be on the phone, and I'll hang up. Two minutes later, she calls again. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happens to me all the time, and I cannot stay now. I'm like, Mom, you can you can text me. I prefer text instead of having to constantly keep calling and being, like, it's frustrating. And then, when we're just sitting here being good children, They expect us to do all these things that that's like no, 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 no. And I love it because then like my mom gets home and she'll be carrying groceries 
and she'll be like, get up, you gotta help me now. I'm like, I'm not even gonna be eating half of that food. I will literally take out the stuff that belongs to me, and then John and Richie and you can take out the stuff that belongs to you guys. Yes, I'm just that lazy that I really don't want to have to do that. That's cool. That's my ringtone. So yeah, I don't know if any of this happens to you guys, but when I'm home alone, and I'm just trying to sit here and chill, I usually end up, like by the time I get really comfy, and I'm just almost drifting off into sleep, then someone's got to call me, so. It's never, never, never easy just being home alone, having a relaxing day. And then, like, your house gets all creepy and scary. And, like, the reality is, like, like, this, I seriously sometimes, like, my friend's parents, I seriously feel like this is how they think she handles strangers. Like, ready? 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 Hello? Who is this? It's a blast ID. Oh, sure, yeah, come over right now. They seriously think she will be like that. And no, she's terrified of strangers, so it's kind of funny. But, um, I seriously think parents don't have that much trust in their children, especially my friends. I mean, some of them, I do agree. You should not trust them being home alone. But some of them, I'm like, bruh, they're like that. Child of the year. That was scary. I'm sorry. That was scary. Okay. And then, like, when I'm home alone, my brother probably ends up bugging me. Well, not, why am I saying probably? He always ends up bugging me. <gasps> oh, my God. This is like the angle of a horror movie. Oh, my God. This is scary. No, 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 no. This is like seriously the angle of our movie. Okay, so my brother will end up annoying me, and I'll I'll call my mom, and she'll be like, "Hello." There we go. It loaded. Oh my God! What's happening? Stupid Netflix. There. There we go. Fixed. Okay, seriously, this angle is creeping me out. But I really don't want to move my laptop because that involves more effort. More f but, does anybody else have these problems with their parents? And There's just. That dude. She sounded exhausted. Well, then. It just decides to go without me. Whatever. But if any of you guys feel this way, like how, like, parents, like, think that we're not mature enough to be older, like, to be home alone, or they don't trust you being home alone. Like, I seriously, like, get scared when a mailman knocks on the door. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to invite strangers into the house. I'm not going, like, my dad, he told me, he's like, if they, like, uh, the dentist is, like, right next to my house, my orthodontist, so I just walk over to the to it usually after school or during the summer and my dad's like if there's ever a time that you might be getting kidnapped run back to the orthodontist don't let them kidnap and know where you live don't let him like pull you into a place where there's no one going to be there like go back to where it's public I'm like dad I think I have come dad I, do, do you think I'm not stupid to show the murderer where we live Actually, yeah, I would have been that stupid because I would have just kept running home. So, he was pretty smart to warn me about that. And does anybody else do this when they're home alone? They just, like, constantly have to look at their house, like, every angle of their house. Because you're so terrified a ghost is going to be there. I do that a lot. And then... Like, parents, they always say, like, oh, you can have friends over during the day. No, you really can't. Anywho, that was my video.
It was lamer than I intended it to be. I'm very sorry. Not sorry. I'm literally looking at how I paused it and it's kind of scaring me. I'm gonna go! So, bye!